Good afternoon. Family and friends have gathered for the funeral of one of the men killed at Didcot Power Station. Ken Creswell's body was recovered earlier this month. He was working at the site when the boiler house came down in February. An investigation into what caused it to collapse is underway. The pool-based company Merlin Attractions has been fined £5 million for the Smiler roller coaster crash at Alton Towers. Two teenage girls had legs amputated and several others were seriously hurt in the accident last year. The Dorset company admitted health and safety breaches. This avoidable incident happened because Merlin failed to put in place systems that would allow their engineers to work safely on the ride whilst it was running. This made it all too easy for a whole series of unchecked mistakes, not just a single push of a button, to result in tragedy. The decision to not prosecute Sir Cliff Richard over sex assault charges has been upheld by the Crown Prosecution Service. The singer who lived in Sunningdale in Berkshire was the subject of an investigation by South Yorkshire Police. Claims he had assaulted four men were dropped in June on the grounds of insufficient evidence. Well, the case was reviewed by the CPS due to an appeal by one of the accusers. Sir Cliff Richard has always denied the allegations. It's been five months since a profoundly deaf woman from Dorset went missing and police have renewed their appeal to find her. Isabel Munro from Christchurch has learning difficulties and was last seen in April. Yesterday, her 42nd birthday, well, Isabel's brother says the family is desperate to know what's happened to her. Residents at a block of new retirement flats in Romsey had to evacuate the building when a fire broke out last night. Nobody was injured in the blaze. Eyewitnesses say it started in a generator outside. And nearly 8,000 stray dogs were picked up by local authorities in the ITV Meridian region last year. Figures from the Dogs Trust show one in eight of these animals had been microchipped, but owners' details had not been updated. £18,000 has been raised towards a campaign to launch a legal challenge against Southern Rail franchise. 900 people have donated the money, which is two-thirds of what the group needs for a judicial review. Well, over now to Simon and the all-important weather. From puddles to paddling, driving through Europe, Eurotunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Well, if you're not a big fan of grey, I'm afraid there's very little to look forward to this afternoon. You might, if you're lucky, see an occasional glimpse of brightness, but there's a fair bit of cloud around. At least it's dry, though, a bit breezy, particularly along the coast and around the Isle of Wight. Now, as we head into tonight, nothing really changes. There will be some clear spells here and there. Shouldn't get too cold, though. 12 or 13, the overnight low, but because of that cloud cover, guess what? Another grey start tomorrow, but fairly quickly we'll see that cloud break up quite nicely. Some decent bright or sunny spells on the go, and the temperatures tomorrow will do very well, peaking at around 20 or maybe even 21 degrees. Eurotunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. So we might see some sunshine tomorrow. And don't forget the latest weather and, of course, all of our news on our website. And if you're free at 6 o'clock this evening, do join Fred and Sangeeta. They'll be here with more of the day's news for you. But for now, from the lunchtime team, have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.